My mother told me if you ever become a rock star, don't smash the guitar. There are too many poor kids out there who have nothing and they see that shit when all they want to do is play that thing, boy, you better let them play. Okay, if she ever starts in on one of these lectures, your best bet is to pull up a chair, chief, because mama don't deal in the abridged version. <laughs> she worries about me so much some days, y'all. It's like watching windshield wipers on high speed during a light sprinkle, and I got to tell her, mom, you're making me nervous. She was born to be laid back, y'all, I swear, but some of us were brought up in households where carefree is a stick of gum, and the only option for getting out is to walk faster. The woman can run <laughs> in high heels, okay, backwards, while double-checking my homework, bursting my bubble, rolling enough coins to make sure I have lunch money and preparing for a meeting at my school on her only day off so she can tell Miss Goss, the music teacher, if you ever touch my boy again, big lady, I'll bounce a hammer off your skull. I remember her doing these things swiftly and with a smile in discounted thrift store business suits that she wore just bright and distinguished enough to cover up 30 years of highway scars trucking through her spine. Some accidents you don't need to see rubbernecker. Keep moving cause she made it. She's alive and she's famous. We can stretch Van Gogh paintings from Seattle, Washington to Binghamton, New York and you still won't find the brilliant brush strokes it takes to be a single mother sacrificing the best part of her dreams to raise a baby boy who on most days she probably wants to strangle. We disagree a lot. For instance, Ma still thinks it's okay to carry on a conversation full throttle at 7 a.m., whereas I think I'm sorry, I don't think it's 7 in the morning. But we both agree that love, y'all, love makes no mistakes. So at nighttime, when she's winding down and I'm still writing books about how to get comfortable in the skin she gave me, I see rock stars on stages smashing guitars and it is then when I wanna find them a comfortable chair, get them a snack and introduce them to day like this is my mother, Teresa B. Olson, runner of the tight shift, taker of the temperature, lever of the light on, lover of the underdog, mover of the mountain, winner of the good life, keeper of the hope chest, guitar repair woman, and I am her son, Buddy Wakefield. I play a tricked out electric pen thanks to the makers of music and metaphor, but I do my best to keep the words in check and I use a padded microphone so I don't hurt you because sometimes I smash things. And I don't ever want to let her down.